They look just like you. Same weapons. We thought we were saved, but they led us to transporters that took us straight to a Terminator factory, with production lines churning out hundreds of them a day. So our missing people are still there? Some. Most of them are in a work camp set up not that far from the factory. Where's that? Further north. How far? I couldn't see. It was dark. It was hard to tell. You know what I'm asking. Was it behind the annihilation line? Yes. Yes, it was. Shit. I haven't seen anything like it before. They torch everything in their path. I snuck past it after I broke out of the convoy. The ground was so hot, it melted the soles on my shoes. Did I hear that right? We're crossing the Annihilation Line? That wasn't part of the plan. It was supposed to be a quick recon mission. I haven't decided on anything yet. We're severely unprepared. Are you sure that's where they are? I... What's I, up with him? I don't... I'm not sure. Sir, we have to consider falling back. I've noted your concerns, Corporal. But ultimately, I'll be the one making that decision. Now, I need some time to think this through. For now, Farrell, set up the perimeter. Evans, you're first on guard duty. Let's clear our heads. Rivers, do you mind checking on the team? I need some time to come up with a plan. M. Sanko. Ju Sanko. You don't sound too happy about what's going on. Why would I be? You've heard Reese. You know what it means. We're crossing the Annihilation Line soon. And what for? To finish a mission that makes absolutely no sense? Did you hear that guy? We're going after people that look like us. Isn't that exactly what that note said? The one that you found in Northridge? We're in over our heads. The team should always come first, not the mission. That's what the Resistance taught me. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. Meeting Connor is not worth all of this. Piece of shit! I think there's someone else you should talk to first. God fucking damn it! Everything all right? <sighs> this whole situation has me so wound up, I'm shaking. Not good for handling explosives. You're just tired. You need a break. I'd love to. But since there's no one in a hundred miles of here that can help, I think I'll have to power through. It's too early to start worrying. Reese hasn't decided anything about crossing the Annihilation Line yet. You know what else he's keeping quiet about? How our previous assignment was stupid and bound to fail. Or how truly fucked up it is that we're back in the trenches just hours after our team got decimated. He hasn't mentioned Brooks, Johnson, or Yang. He hasn't mentioned them once, like they never fucking existed. Pharaoh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be snapping at you like that. Let's talk. Yeah, let's. Those were the soldiers that died during that mission, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Except they weren't soldiers, not to me. They were my family. They practically raised me. How so? I enlisted when I was 11. I was assigned to this team of four guys who I was absolutely intimidated by. 
I was trying to play the tough kid in front of them, you know? Constantly trying to impress them. Looking back, I must have been an endless source of entertainment for them. What kind of things would you do? I would make IEDs out of everything I could get my hands on. One time I turned Johnson's flashlight into a pipe bomb and forgot to tell him. He found out during a scouting mission. I'm told he wasn't too happy about it. With the four of them, I was happy. First time in my life I had someone looking after me. That's what I imagine having a family must be like. Now I'm starting to think that if I get killed, Reese won't even care. He can't look me in the eyes. Hasn't said my name this whole time. It's always corporal, like he doesn't know me. What is your name? It's Charlotte. Anyway, thanks for letting me vent. Sometimes that's all it takes. Rivers, can I have a word with you? Is everything okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I'm just tired. I must be seeing things. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm just seeing things. Sir. I wanted to ask your opinion about what we've heard today. What do you really think happened in Northridge? Do you think that some rogue resistance squad cut a deal with Skynet? Decided to deliver an outpost full of civilians in exchange for some special treatment? Or maybe you have a theory of your own regarding what's happened. To me, this looks like the job of Terminators. This is what the infiltration units were made for. We're just now seeing what they're capable of. I was afraid you'd say that. I trust your judgment. You had the most experience with him. Is that all, sir? One last thing. We all know what the deal is with the T-600s. They're easy to spot and their rubbery mugs are not fooling anyone. But what about this new model? I'm asking you because you're one of the few people that got to look at them up close and lived. So do you think you would know if you were talking to a Terminator? To be honest, I'm... Not sure, Sarge. I'm not an expert. I've only encountered one that I know of. That's what I'm afraid of. Thank you for being straight with me. That's it for now. Sarge, actually, I've been meaning to tell you something. I think you should talk to Corporal Farrow. It seems to me that she hasn't fully recovered from your previous assignment. I understand. Unfortunately, that'll have to wait. There's still a lot of work ahead before we move out. I don't mean to step out of line, sir, but that may be part of the problem. I see your point, but I can't risk the safety of my team. Preparations have to come first. You can take a break now, soldier. You did a hell of a job today.
What's going on? Ah! Retreat! What the fuck was that? I don't know, but we're not staying here to find out. Let's go! They're already here. Find some cover! Why the hell didn't my explosives go off? How about we worry about that later? Keep your heads down! Get that door open! That thing was an HK Centurion. How the hell do you know that? I saw them work on it when I was at that camp. So, another of their weapons has come online. We're in deep shit. There's more! Spread out! Armored Spider, 12 o'clock! Whoa! Scratch that! Everyone focus! Next time that could be one of us. Suppressive fire! There they are! to get to the surface, fast! There's more! Spread out! Armored Spider, 12 o'clock! Whoa! Scratch that! Everyone focus! Next time that could be one of us! Enemy in the open! Eyes open! to get to the surface, fast! Oh, that was close. Rivers, door. Everyone stay low. Be quiet. What the fuck is that? A firing squad. They were waiting for us. Fuck! Run! I can see the exit! We gotta clear the way! Too many of them! Even more now! Drones! I'm taking them out! Farrell, focus on those spiders, understand? Yes, sir! Fucking tin can! Suppressive fire! Got you covered! Ah, fuck! I've got this! Running low on ammo! I'm out! Stay low! Stay down! I'm hit! 
Point. We gotta keep pushing. You got a backup evac plan? I always have. Watch out! We can't stay here long. We're caught in the open. Stay low. I'm getting tired of this shit. Keep firing! Pressure fire! to use them. Last 
Seconds away. We'll make it. all this really worth it, John? Sergeant, I wanted to make an official request for a demotion. There's no need for that, Farrell. The anti-tank mines that I set up didn't work. I, I feel responsible. It's not your fault. None of this should have happened because we shouldn't even be here in the first place. Easy, soldier. Sergeant, we're about to cross the annihilation line, and I'd like to know why you were selected for this mission. That should be enough for you. All due respect, sir, it isn't. Is there something that we don't know yet? What's so special about those people? We've been kept in the dark for too long. Is this how you all feel? Kyle, there has to be more. The last message sent before Northridge went silent said that they rescued a group of civilians. These people were kept in cages for years. They were starved, looked like they were barely alive. And despite that, Skynet went looking for them? Why? They mentioned a name. A name Connor wanted to keep a secret. We didn't want anyone to be emotionally invested in the mission. Seeing how we're all looking over the edge now, one of the people rescued was the father of Sergeant Rivers. What? That can't be true. He's dead. He died years ago. Connor got a hold of some intel confirming that's not true. He's alive, and he's in that camp. Does anyone have any more questions regarding the mission? No. No, sir. All right. We move out in a couple hours. Get some rest. That goes for you too, Rivers. I'm gonna get some shut-eye before the mission. We'll get him out, Rivers. Even if it means crossing the annihilation line. That's quite some news, Rivers. Can't imagine what's going through your head. How are you feeling? Shocked. gonna get tough and I don't want to put anyone in danger I'm gonna stop you right there I've been fighting my whole life and never really knew what I was fighting for now I finally have an answer that makes sense to me your father actual family that's something worth fighting for and we're going to get him back rivers the things I do to talk to my dad even if it was just for a moment putting me on the spot, but... Well, I've never met my father. I guess that's not uncommon these days. So, 
I guess I would say, hi, nice to finally meet you. But more importantly, do you know what you're gonna say? I don't know yet. I hope that I can find the right words when I see him. I can recognize him, that is. Don't worry about that. It'll come to you. Have you talked to Reese yet? I'm not gonna bother him yet. Just look at the craziness he has to deal with. I'll give him some space. We'll probably talk when we get back from the mission. I know this is a lot for you to take in, but I can't have anyone on my team distracted. Not now. Is that understood? You should have told me about my father earlier. I couldn't risk you getting too emotionally involved. People's lives depend on you staying focused, soldier. The success of our mission is everything. It's all that matters. So can you manage that? Yes, sir. So what's the plan? Anselmo mentioned two targets. We'll start with the Skynet factory. Of course, that means we'll have to cross the Annihilation Line first. Seems like a lot for a four-person team. It is. I want each of us to take a sector over the Annihilation Line. Once we're there, our responsibility will be to cause as much damage as possible. I want Skynet to notice. When it does, it will send reinforcements from the factory, leaving the place unprotected. That's where we'll regroup before we get our people out. I know that I'm asking you for a lot, but I don't see any alternative. We all know the risk, sir. And we're prepared to take it. I'm sure you all do, Rivers. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm the one that's asking you to cross the Annihilation Line. It's a tough call, and I'm glad I'm not the one making it. I wouldn't be surprised if you're not completely comfortable making it either. You deserve honesty, Rivers. But if I were to speak freely, I would have to say things that a soldier shouldn't hear from his commander. Get your gear. We're moving out soon. Are you sure Skynet will take the bait? You have to remember that Skynet is just a machine. A program that works according to protocols. And that works to our advantage. They're predictable. And that's gonna be Skynet's downfall. Do you believe these people are still alive, Sergeant? The old man mentioned that Skynet took them to a work camp. If that's the case, we're lucky. What do you mean? Skynet won't start exterminating their prisoners until the camp's at full capacity, or when their objective has been completed. These people are valuable to Skynet. They'll keep your father alive, Rivers. <laughs> 